Okay, so this is just a short video about the Chipmaster lathe and the magnetic scale DRO I've just added. Um, I've still got a few things to finish off, but uh, this is just a general video. Um, X and Z axis. So it's a little bit tight on the X. The scales I ordered um, and the display from AliExpress. The diagram for the scales were quite a bit thinner on the listing than what I received, so I had to mill the backside of the extrusion um, as well as this cap piece. Um, this one I didn't have to worry about uh, the end piece because it it doesn't actually come far enough to to be affected. And it's it's hanging out here. Uh, this one did need to be milled down though. Um, so that it was the same all the way along. I think I had to take off two millimeters, um, but this is just all extrusion. It's quite thick on the back, so I could have taken more if needed, just for your reference. Um, the actual strip is behind this stainless um, protector, so you've got quite a lot of room. If you really did need to mill them down very thin, um, you would just have to make some custom end caps uh, because they're what hold it on to the machine. I've got a L bracket here at the back which is bolted into the back of the cross slide and then there's a bolt through the end cap supporting this end. Uh, this end is more obvious, it's just a bolt through to the cross slide holding that on. Uh, it just clears the gap between the cross slide and this part of the saddle. Um, so I've got full full travel all the way back so that's in this stopped position as far towards the operator as it will go uh, if I get the tailstock out of the way and if I crank this the handle's a bit noisy I need to sort that Yeah, so that's the uh, cross slide is now disengaged from the screw. So I, I've made it the entire full length. Uh, so yeah, I won't try and push it too far, but I've got a bit of uh, about 10 mil of uh, excess. So I, I can't ever crush it basically in either direction. So I wanted to make sure, even though it's a, it's a bit ugly sticking out, I wanted to make sure I had the full travel just in case I ever needed it. Um, I'll bring you down into the z-axis. Okay, so this is just a bit closer of the brackets um, I arranged. Um, basically there's the one main bracket with two uh, Allen bolts underneath going into the saddle. From there we have the X sensor which is just bolted down, that's adjustable two bolts and then the brackets for the Z. I've got these two plates. Um, I went with attaching the Z scale directly to the angle portion of the bed um, rather than packing it with an angle packer. Um, I could have arranged it slightly differently uh, but this just made more sense at the time so that's why this part is angled so that the sensor, which is down here, is uh, parallel with the scale. Um, originally I had this part uh, slightly longer going down and the sensor was mounted on top. Um, that would be a little bit easier, uh, but because I've got the hydraulic copying attachment, uh, the mount for that has two large brackets at either end of the bed. Um, and this was too low, it was fouling that, so I had to shorten this and put the sensor underneath, but now it clears the full length. The scale is the entire length of the bed, even though that's not technically required. I could have made it a bit shorter at the chuck end, because the sensor is on the right hand side. Um, but I had the long scale, so I used it. Both scales were too long. 
um, they just didn't have them in the right size but it's not really a problem you can just cut right through them uh, you have to modify the end that you cut so that the end caps can be um, bolted back on uh, there's just two I think they're M3 screws uh, can't quite remember so you just need to uh, account for that uh, otherwise it's pretty much as simple as cutting right through the magnetic strip and extrusion the mag strips are stuck onto the extrusion when I receive them I know some kits they have the magnetic strip not attached so you can cut them to length and so on but um, yeah I, I didn't have any problems just cutting right through them carefully with a bandsaw the main modifications I already spoke about with the X needing to mill the back um, the Z I just had to cut it down to size reattach the end stop or end cap um, and that was pretty straightforward it's fairly simple um, I, I didn't want to take up too much space I couldn't have anything on the top slide, uh, sorry the cross slide because I have the hydraulic tracer which bolts down here so the slide is about 2mm below the level of the top of the cross slide so there's no problems there I do need to make a stop for the tailstock so it doesn't crash um, I'll probably just drill in the bottom of the tailstock casting and add a little stud at the right distance so I won't have any problems with uh, damaging the scale otherwise it's pretty straightforward uh, not too much to it, just a lot of time fiddling around making the right kind of brackets and taking them on and off and modifying them until everything kind of fits um, I did look at the couple of kits that are pre-made for the Chipmaster but they just wouldn't work with the hydraulic tracer attachment um, but this this will because it's nice and clear of the cross slide yeah that's pretty much it um, so sensor down here is only on loose at the moment um, I've got some longer bolts coming to attach that a bit better uh, but that's the general idea everything's on this main block um, which is good, keeps it nice and tidy um, some of the pre-made kits have these huge over complicated brackets um, I don't know why uh, but this this is the easiest easiest way to set it up with the scale attached to the cross line sensor stationary and then the sensor down there for the z-axis um, yep so I've just got to make some covers I'm thinking about that the sensors do have these little wipers either side which keep the portion of the sensor that reads the strip uh, clear and I think they, they do quite a good job um, obviously you do get magnetic chips uh, do stick to this strip but it's, this is the protective stainless strip um, and it's easily wipeable so I don't think I'll have any major problems but I am bending up some covers to go on here I'm just working out how best to do it for the X um, the Z is pretty easy I think um, there's a lot more extra room there I don't have to worry about the tight space but again I don't want to have anything sticking way out blocking the tailstock any more than it already is um, so I've got a few ideas but I need to work on that anyway I hope this has been useful um, and not too long I'll trim it down <laughs> this is the way I've done it to my requirements I'm sure mm. others will do it completely differently but I needed to keep the cross slide top completely clear and below the level of the top um, for the hydraulic tracer and now it's nice and clear I, uh, so far so good, it's working well and I look forward to using it on an actual job.